Hey guys, back playing some FTB and I've been playing around with my sorting facility in the last week here. Just doing some more tweaks. In episode number 29, I uh, changed the way I sort stuff. I have a hybrid system between these chests. And if you want to know how I have this chest sorting facility, which is the original sorting facility that I had, you can check episode number 11. And then in episode number 29, I decided to add some barrels in the basement to the whole system here. And then I tried to fix them a little bit because I made some errors in, e in episode 30. And then uh, it just, it wasn't working the way I wanted it to work after that. And I kind of gave up on it. And now I'm back, you know, trying to make it work the way I want. And I think I finally got a system that is actually working properly. Because before what was happening is I had, uh, you know, stuff getting sorted and getting sent into these chests. And then the overflow items that couldn't fit into the chests would automatically go down into the basement here where I have a bunch of barrels through a tube in, in the ceiling and into the appropriate barrels. But what was happening is things were just, <laughs> they weren't moving properly. They were, some things were randomly going into uh, some of these chests, even though they weren't colored with the tube, like they weren't, they weren't supposed to go into the green tube. They were showing up in, in this chest. It was just kind of weird. So I kind of had to rethink the whole system. I decided to use ender chests to send the items down into the sorting facility in the basement but let's uh, start off from the beginning here just uh, real quick to show you guys how i got this set up so uh, of course i got the main ender ch ender chest here that's hooked up to my quarry and also hooked up to my ender pouch here where i can send items to the whole to send it to the facility here and then i got the sorting machine to pull the items out like so and then i got these four machines which handle my chests only. So if there is an item in here, for example, the yellow items, which are linked to the yellow tube with the chest hooked up to the yellow tube, I have all these items and that tends to be kind of like organic items that get sent there. And then over here, I got gunpowder that's linked to kind of like a light purple kind of, uh, you know, painted tube. And then if you look around here, I got all these items that go into whatever chest, you know, it's uh, linked to you know from the painted tubes and so if there's items that come out of here out of this uh, system and they can't find a spot in here now they automatically get sent over to this sorting machine right here which labels them as a black item as you can see there's you know that's a black item there the cobblestone is labeled as a black item and so is the dirt just anything that isn't in the sorting machine is automatically labeled as a black item and that's how I have this set up. And these are the symbols here. And after I explain this, I'll pop into the vanilla texture pack just so you guys can see how I have all of these sorting machines set up here with these symbols in case you don't use fax. You know, it's it's a little bit weird because I don't know what these, <laughs> these things are called because it would be cool if you just moused over it and it would explain to you, just tell you, you know, what this is. So I could just tell you, hey, put it on that setting, right? But anyways, I'll do that after I explain this. So that's how I got, that's that's basically the upgrade that I did, the major upgrade down here was just add this, you know, extra sorting machine that labels everything that isn't unsorted as a black item. So that of course means it's going to try to find the black tube, which is right over here. So all those items get sent here into this ender chest, which I of course as well painted black with the top parts here with the ink. The three bars are painted black and that's the one that's linked to my barrel system downstairs here. The barrel part of my sorting facility here. So that's the same chest here, black chest. And then of course I have the sorting machine pulling the items out and into my barrel sorting system with the pneumatic tubes. So of course I will continue to add barrels as I need them. But right now these are the items that I send down here. And for example, cobblestone, if we check out the dirt, it will actually go into this one because I, I actually upgraded my dirt barrel just because I like to store a lot of dirt to use in my tree farm because it just burns through it so fast. And then of course the cobblestone, a lot of cobblestone comes down the pipe, obviously, when you have a quarry. And this is the barrel for the cobblestone. It's full, 
right? So this is kind of the third part of the sorting facility right now. It can't get in there. So what it does is it goes around here. Okay, and I just made it like this so I can continue to add barrels. And it gets sent into another sorting machine right here, which labels certain items. So certain items here are labeled with green. So they'll get pulled out of this sorting machine and try to find the green tube, which is right here, and that is linked to another ender chest. And this ender chest is painted green, okay? And then these white ones here, these are for unsorted items. So as you can see, I got this set up here, and I got that with white here. So the white tube will send items that are not sorted in the machine. So you can see that, you know, obviously like Rocky drones and Rocky princesses and a corn kernel made its way in here. And maybe some, <laughs> this wooden plank, I probably did that my, myself just to test the system out, just to make sure that, you know, it would try to go through the whole system and into these kind of unsorted chests. And these would probably work as well as um, overflow chests. So for example, let's say this system, this thing here, the or the redstone gets full, what will happen is it will continue to go on here. And obviously I don't want to recycle the redstone. So it will just go into these chests. And then once in a while I'll come in here and uh, I'll, you know, I'll see what I don't have sorted and then I'll make the appropriate tweaks to the whole system. And that's of course why I have two. I think it's better to have two because when you have a quarry, a lot of items are coming down and these things can fill up really quickly without you noticing, especially if you don't come down here regularly. So yeah, this, let's move forward to the uh, recycling ender chest here, the green one. So all those items, cobblestone, we don't want to keep it, sand, stuff like that. We just want to store a little bit of it. That gets sent over to my recycling center. And I believe I set this up in episode number 12. So if you want to kind of figure out how I have this set up, you can check out episode number 12. So basically the tweak that I made here is I put an ender chest here labeled the green one, a green one that's linked to the other green one. And of course I got my trusty sorting machine from Red Power pulling the items out of that chest and shooting it into my recyclers. I got three recyclers right now. They are painted only because previously I had them linked, you know, set up so the dirt would go down one tube and then the sand would go down one tube and then you know something else would go down another tube just like for really common items just so i could you know split it apart and make sure that none of these uh these um recyclers overflow but right now it's it's the paint is just aesthetic i don't need to have it there what happens is just items will get pulled out and sent into the middle one first and if that middle one is busy recycling something and can't fit the item in, it will just kind of bounce back, go into the, uh, you know, into another recycling uh, machine. And then if it can't get into any of them, it'll just continue to bounce back and forth and, until it gets recycled. So that system works pretty good, I think. I'm just gonna put back the uh, stone here. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm hoping as well that uh, these chests here if they do happen to overflow so for example this one will most likely overflow pretty quickly because this has coal and appetite and redstone and nickelite and that's super super common stuff so this one tends to overflow pretty quickly so hopefully when it does fill up it will the items will continue to go down this tube and basically this tube goes around here all the way around here up into this wall here and out and into the black ender chest right here as you can see you can probably see the tube there I have one of those uh, hollow covers just to kind of hide it a little bit but there is a tube that goes into the side as well that will be sent all those items will be sent down into here so for example coal will also be sent down through the system and it will try to find a barrel to you know go into and if it can't find a barrel to go into it will just continue on like all these other items into this sorting machine and just pop into this chest over here or one of these chests and then i can just kind of figure out what tweaks i need to do to the system for that particular item so up here what i want to do with these chests is have items that i use primarily for crafting so 
I'm gonna pop a, a few more project tables here and I'm gonna do a little crafting here. I have my crafting station upstairs in my house, but I'll also have this station here that I can come in, you know, grab some of these items, you know, throw them down into here and, you know, build whatever I wanna build. I'll put my machine, oh, <laughs> I'll put my machine components in this uh, barrel here. And, uh, you know, I got some organic stuff here and all kinds of stuff. So I still have to, uh, you know, add, you know, some of these chests, they're not being used for anything. So I have to figure out a use for them. But, you know, I'll do that as I move forward. But that is pretty much it for my sorting facility upgrade. And I'm really hoping that this is pretty much it for this particular system. I know there's an ME mod out there that has uh, probably a more efficient way of doing sorting. But if you don't have that mod and you got red power you're using the Minecraft pack, I think using the red power sorting machines is probably the way to go. And you might not even want these chests. You might you might just want to use the barrel system. That's what a lot of people use. I like the barrel system, but I also like the chests. I think it looks cool with the paint. And again, I think it's good for for uh, making a sorting or not a sorting a crafting station here because I can store multiple items in a chest, whereas a barrel you can only store one item. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to pop into vanilla right now and show you guys the sorting machines in case you do want to set up a system like this, just so you know what these symbols look like in the vanilla because they do obviously look a little bit different than in Sfax. So I will see you guys in a second. Okay, so let's take a look at these sorting machines. Um, <clears throat> Also, if you're going to roll with sorting machines, always remember to apply, you know, blue tricity to them. You have to apply some sort of power, the blue tricity, and, and with the blue alloy wiring, and that's hooked up to some solar panels that are upstairs. I also have a battery box just to store a little extra juice, and that is what is powering. You don't need very many. I think I only have like six solar panels, six or five, and that's from Red Power, and that's uh, powering all of these sorting machines. So let's start off with the first sorting machine here. Just so you can see what the icons look like in the vanilla texture pack. That's the one that pulls items out of the chest, out of the ender chest here, the first ender chest. And then the sorting machines that are hooked up to my chests, the colored pneumatic tubes. This is how I'm rolling with the colors and then these are the icons that I'm going with. And all four of these are set up the same. And then I got my sorting machine that labels the items as the black items going into the ender chest. That's how I got that going. I got the black here. And I'm going with those icons. And let's check out the ones in the barrel area. In the basement here. Oops. So this one is going to be set up like the first one just basically pulling the items out of the ender chest here and sending it into the barrel system. Then I got the one over here set up like this. So all the white stuff, the unsorted items go into the white tube and then all the items that I'm telling to go in the green tube are set up like this, these icons like so. Then I don't know if I need to show you the other one here in the recycling center but might as well so this one's set up like this again it's set up very pretty much the same as the first one and that's pretty much it so I'm just gonna patch this up switch into my sfax and uh, yeah see you guys in a second okay so all done here in the sorting facility for now and I uh, haven't done too much in terms of base building. I've added this kind of detail here with the statues here. These are biohazard suits, or what are they called? Hazmat suits with a scuba helmet, and it's on an armor stand. And then I put some glowstone. So you need three blocks to do this one, two, three. So on the first block here, or the first layer, you got the, uh, the glowstone, and then I got a layer of uh, iron bars and then in front I got the stand you know with whatever armor you want to use I just wanted to use that hazmat suit because it's orange I thought it looked kind of cool it looked a little more industrial and this is kind of an industrial area then I put these reverse stairs upside down stairs just to uh, I don't know round it up a little bit it looks a little bit better 
So yeah, I don't know if that's, that, that looks kind of cool or not, but uh, I want to go around the base, like I said in a previous episode, and just throw down a little bit more detail, because I do go pretty crazy with the brick, as you probably noticed. There's brick all over the place, and it looks a little plain. Sometimes I pepper in some moss, mossy brick and some cracked brick, and that does help for, you know, breaking things apart, but you don't want to have these massive walls with just brick. You know, you want to throw down a little detail, you know, here and there, the lamps and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm trying to think of new ideas in terms of, uh, you know, just putting some final touches on the on this part of the base here, just the uh, all these brick walls. But yeah, other than that, I haven't done too much. Uh, I put a little bit more trees outside. I want to add some more trees around the base just because I find that trees look pretty cool. So I've kind of started trying to figure out where I want to pepper some trees. Uh, I peppered a few trees around here. These are some teak trees, and these are those autumn trees, and this is kind of like uh, the pine tree. I can't remember what kind of tree it is. It's uh, the ones I usually see in the winter biomes. So yeah, I'm thinking of popping in some trees here and there just to make things look a little bit better around here. But right now, what I want to do is I want to add an entrance over here. I had a temp entrance on this side of the base just because I don't want to have to go, you know, all the way to, you know, that entrance or go through that hole I just flew out of. If I'm around this base, I want to get in here. And this is where my uh, charcoal uh, power plant is and my creosite power plant. So I wanted, you know, I had a temp entrance here where I just kind of walked in. It, it looked kind of stupid, but then I added these uh, iron bars just to kind of throw down some detail. This thing's blocked. This thing's so blocky. I also want to do something with the roof part. I don't know what I'll do. Maybe put some stairs around the edges. I have no idea, but I want to do that in this episode. I'll do it off camera just because I don't know what I want to do yet, but I want to detail this part of the base a little bit. I do like how the dirt goes over this, though, so it looks like it's built underground. You know, it doesn't it still looks a little bit, uh, you know, shows the natural part of the, uh, you know, the land there. But anyways, I want to put the entrance over here. So it's kind of hidden a little bit. So I've kind of dug it out a little bit. So I'll put a door here and then some stairs and I'll connect this pathway here. I'll make a pathway and try to connect it to this main pathway and try to keep that same look. Hopefully I got enough space there. I need four blocks. I think I do. To make it look okay but uh, I'll do that off camera and show you guys that in a second also want to fix this part here this is this is uh, an ender tank that's hooked up to my coke ovens inside of my house I got four coke ovens that I use just to make I hardly ever use them anymore but once in a while I make some cold coke so uh, yeah it makes a little bit of creosite oil as well so I just kind of transfer that over into my main creosite oil tank that's hooked up to all of my you know my coke ovens in here if you haven't seen this from previous episodes I got a bunch of coke ovens here that are hooked up to my tree farm that produce you know a bunch of charcoal for my power plant that I have that I just showed you guys and of course the creosite I also use to produce some EU in that power plant so yeah anyways back on topic I want to move this thing just because it looks kind of and it looks out of place I want to hide it in here just underneath here so actually let's just do it right now and I'll show you guys what I mean here we'll just pop this off shouldn't take too long break this break that try not to break the tank fly in here hopefully I got space I don't know where which side I should put it on um, yeah maybe just hide it in the corner here I think it should work just pop it like that uh, will that work I don't know if that will work. I can't even think right now if that works because I know I need to drop a lever. So I might need to... Actually, let's just test it out. It should work. I think if I drop a lever right beside it... Well, now I'm now I'm confusing. Oh, I can just drop a lever here, actually, I think. So that's what I'll do. I'll drop the lever right here. I might have to test this out just to make sure it works. And I'll have to change the output input there of this thing to point out so yeah let me just go back to the base here drop in some some wood or coal into the coke ovens that I have I'll just grab four stacks because I got four of them go down here throw that in here and these are hooked up underneath there's an ender tank underneath 
over here. Again, if you, I'll show it to you guys if you haven't seen it. Just throw down in here. I got uh, the ender tank here. So I got all these liquid ducts and they're hooked up to this ender, ender tank that is hooked up to the one I just set up. Underneath here. Okay, so let's zip over there. I'm probably going to have to throw down a cut because it takes forever for coal to be turned into coke, coal coke. But I just want to make sure it works the way I set up. So uh, yeah, I'll throw down a cut here and I'll see you guys in a second. So the tank there looks to be full. I'm just gonna flip the lever and hopefully it works. And <laughs> I can't tell if it works actually right now. Oh, it is draining very slowly, there we go. So yeah, that works and that looks way better I think, having everything hidden in here. That way when I'm flying over I don't see that thing on the top. So yeah, and I went ahead and I finished this up here, polished it up connected the pathway to my new entrance here I guess you could say in the uh, it's not really the back of the base it's just I guess the front of the base I don't even know it's just I needed to put an entrance over here just because you know gotta have an entrance over here so let's check it out nothing major just put some steps here and continue the same theme with the logs the wood oak logs and uh, you know the chiseled stone then over here, I just put a trim around stairs. I was trying to figure out which stairs I should use. And I, I just went, went ahead with the basic oak just cause I got oak all over the place and wanted to keep the theme going. Then, uh, you know, just drop in a couple stairs over these uh, iron bars and some vines, very simple stuff, but I think it makes a difference. I mean, even though it's a little, little details, I think it makes it look a little bit better. And I, I continued that on a little trim over here. So, it just ah, breaks it up a little bit. I don't think it's a big deal, but didn't take long to do. But, you know, that's what I want to do right now on the base is just put on those final touches here, here and there, because I think at some point I'm going to be switching over to Unleashed or some custom pack. I'm not sure yet. Or maybe Minecraft pack when they update it. We'll see what they do. But I should probably turn this on. Is this thing on or not? It looks like Creosite is coming out. So, yeah, in here I also made a little maintenance area so when I'm coming in here and I want to check out my power plant my charcoal creosite power plant to see how things are going I can just go down these steps under here see how things are going there's a lot of charcoal in here it was actually overflowing because I had this turned off at the uh, UU matter factory but now it's producing juice so the charcoal is going in there and then the creosite goes into these semi-fluid generators and that's also producing EU so yeah I had to turn it on at the UU factory here let's fly over there I haven't really done anything in here still need to do a lot more stuff in here clean it up put some detail yeah I still have the glowstone coming out I need to move the stairs over a couple blocks so yeah just came down here and I turned it on here that's for my uh, charcoal power plant and it's producing UU. It's only produced one so far since since I turned it on. But uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much going to be it for this episode. I did a little bit in the cave, but I feel like it's really not worth showing. I'll, I'll do a little bit more work in there and maybe show you guys in the next episode some of the more some of the stuff that I've done in there. So yeah, there you have it, guys. Episode 37 over. <laughs> and as always. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Later.